This is the Star Wars, the Black Series from Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Din Djarin, or The Mandalorian, and The Child, Grogu. I picked up this figure from Kal-El Collectibles. Big thanks to Kal-El Collectibles for this amazing figure. We don't have Target stores out here in Manila. As such, you know, you got to pick them up from hobby shops here and there. I haven't seen it on retail. I doubt you'll get this one on retail at Toy Kingdom or Toys R Us. But keep your fingers crossed, maybe we will still get him. But so happy to actually have this figure. I've been eyeing this figure since the holidays. And most of the hobby shops were selling it at ridiculous prices, about $50 to $60. Uh, I picked it up at Kal-El for only about $40. And here is the Mandalorian Din Djarin with the child Grogu out of packaging. The figure turned out great. I'm generally pleased overall with this figure. Right off the bat, you'll realize that that cape is looking pretty awkward, especially with that uh, backpack or jetpack strapped onto his back. Uh, they should have gone with a soft goods cape. In, in, all, in all practicality, in, in the best sense for this figure, they should have gone with premium. Uh, like what even the if it's a cheap kind of cloth soft goods material like the Boba Fett cape and all that they should have just gone with it because this soft PVC cape look at it it's really going nowhere the paint apps on the figure you can clearly see that it's not as shiny as how it looked like on the show I'm a little bit disappointed with that even the backpack it should have go they should have gone with this really glossy metallic finish I know they have that paint apps in their repertoire. I know Hasbro can easily have done that. But somehow they decided to scrimp on the paint apps and just give us this flat metallic silver and some gunmetal gray for the backpack. Which is, I, it's okay. But I think because this is an exclusive, store exclusive pack, I think Hasbro could have done much more uh, in terms of the paint apps. The overall aesthetic, this is the Mandalorian. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. So looking at the figure up close, uh, let's start with Grogu, uh, the child. It is not a figure. It is basically an accessory. And to me, Hasbro should have just repacked the Black Series Grogu instead of this one. This one is actually pretty useless. It's just got this one pose. She's doing the using the force. And... You know, that that's it. It's a very static piece. It's an accessory. And it, it can't even sit down or lie down. It, it's just a standing piece doing using the force. Whereas this one, despite not being able to sit down or lie down, it still it has some articulation with the arms. You can get him in a prone position or standing position. There's a lot of things you could do with this. And I think since this is kind of a repack or retool of a previously released Beskar Armor Mandalorian, they should have just repacked this little guy because I think he looks a heck of a lot better than this. I mean, he looks much older. Like he grew, you know, he's on his way to looking like Yoda. This guy is the more accurate looking uh, Baby Yoda or Grogu. I don't know, Hasbro. This, this was a waste of, of budget. Anyway, small issue. Going back to the cape, you see, it, it feels like it was meant to be like this to give way to the backpack, but if you remove the backpack, it, it's fine. But I think they, could, they should have found a way to allow the cape to seamlessly flow over his back without really disrupting that whole aesthetic and silhouette of the figure. This was a missed opportunity. I think some cheap soft goods material should have been the way to do, to do this cape. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's got the same rifle uh, that we you've already seen with the first release of the Mandalorian. in his pre-Beskar armor as well as the Beskar armor. He's got his blaster. Uh, pretty cool. I think the silver on this one is much better than the first release of the figure. He still has his bandolier. Uh, holster uh, he's got a new poltron with the mudhorn signet very cool and yet you know it feels so dull when you look it up up close especially the mask or the helmet i mean look at that 
I mean, on the show, his armor is always so well polished. So spick and span, shiny, shiny armor. I think they could have done so much more with this Beskar. Articulation for the figure, there is some looseness. I guess it's got to do with some mold degradation. But it's not super loose that you can't get him in uh, various poses. Okay. So, yep. Articulation, not too bad. And what I do like about this is it has these sort of butterfly joints that actually move. They're not stuck or glued in one position. So they can actually move. So I do like the articulation on this one. Not too bad. And then finally, let's go talk about the elephant in the room. This new... Pedro Pascal head sculpt and you, you see the features of the lips and the eyes it, it's it sort of looks like Pedro Pascal but he's just way too chubby here I think the sculpt needed more work the hair yeah okay it's the hair it, it's really these this big jawline and those chubby cheeks that's really putting on uh, me off with this head sculpt and Hasbro's design team, I don't know, you could have spent extra time uh, on this head sculpt, made it a more perfect one, because as it is, it's so big, the helmet can barely fit over it. And if you just put it on casually, you'll see that his chin is sticking out, but you can force it down, cover that chin, but the hair is still exposed. So I don't know if they made the helmet too small or the head too big, but it looks like that they made the head too big one slight detail i'm going to nitpick about the helmet is it's supposed to be the ends of the the bottom part of the helmet should come off as a slant like this and this one they i don't know if it's a quality issue but it's not it's not doing it for me and look at the if you look at the helmet of the mandalorian look at there it's slanting right there at the bottom it's not happening uh with this helmet uh, a little bit uh, small detail missing with that one. Okay, uh, one last bit of accessories that this figure came with. Uh, he's got the the ingots or the I guess, gold bars or Beskar bars, Beskar ingots of uh, the ancient traditional uh, artifacts of Mandalore. It, they gave it uh, five pieces. Which is pretty cool. He can actually, I think he can hold. Yep, he can hold it with on his hand. He can hold probably two. Uh, then he comes with this tracking fob. He is also very nice, and he can hold it as well. But you know, I, you know, this thing should just be kept back in the box. Don't throw away the box uh, because you could easily, I'm sure this, for most collectors, you'd easily lose these pieces. And lest I forget, he does come with the bassinet or the cradle of Baby Yoda or Grogu. You can pop it up. They made it look like a Kinder Joy toy and he can stay there and use the force. He can lie down and squeeze them out there and you can close it up and it's a kinder joy and again laziness on the part of hasbro it's well detailed inside but they could have easily put a hinge here they could have swung it up like this it would have been inaccurate but it would have looked a lot cooler than this parts forming lid I mean, they didn't have to do that splitting thing. That would have been really cool if, the, if, if they were able to do that, that this thing would split in the middle and hinge somewhere underneath or inside that cavity, like that. But the easiest solution I can think of for this one is they can put, instead of a fall hinge right there, they could actually put a real hinge that will allow this to swing back right here. And I think that would have made this thing much cooler despite being inaccurate with this upward swing instead of the lateral swing. But again, you know, Hasbro, that's Hasbro's laziness for you. It's a shame because there's a lot of good things going for this figure. And it's these little things that can make the figure annoying and for some collectors can make or break it. But overall, still generally pleased with the figure. And so some final thoughts on this Mandalorian figure with the child. Uh, Din Djarin and Grogu. I think it's a pretty amazing figure. 
If you are a big fan of the show and you love collecting figures in the 112 scale from the show, this is a definite must-have. It's one of those quintessential Mandalorian figures in this scale, and I think Hasbro did an okay enough job with it. I had some issues with a few things with the figure. The Pedro Pascal head sculpt, the cape not really going anywhere when you put that backpack on, the Grogu figure, the bassinet being very lazy, and I wish the paint could have been much better, much shinier uh, than usual, instead of just that flat metallic silver. But those are very small complaints. I don't think they should detract you from actually purchasing this figure. Uh, they're not entirely deal breakers. Although if you put them all together, they might be deal, deal breakers for some of some collectors. But for me, they're nitpicks and you're paying like almost two figures for this set and the least Hasbro could have done is just to really give us a premium set instead of you know trying to cut corners and being lazy about some of the parts but having said that I still think the figure is great it deserves a 9 out of 10 for me let me know in the comment section what you think of this figure and I love the scene where you know Din Djarin and his ladies uh it looks they look all great together the ahsoka is obviously not the correct one but you know i'm not going to complete the entire cast of the show definitely not just picking the ones i like 100 percent. but these four figures i'm pretty pretty happy with how they came out let me know in the comment section what you think of this figure it's not a two-pack in my opinion it's a deluxe figure hit me up in the comment section and as always hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews if it's your first time here please subscribe and if you want to help the channel out please check out my patreon account there's a link in the description box below thanks for watching